Hey, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySysops.com. A few days ago, I released an article on my blog, AngrySysops.com, about the tool which FBI and Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency released to help with this new ransomware attacking the old uh, version ESXIs. However, since then, uh, reports uh, surfaced that the malware evolved in the way that made early recovery procedures ineffective. The attacks aimed at VMware's ESXi bare metal hypervisor were made public first on February the 3rd by French Computer Emergency Response Team. Target ESXi instances running older version of software or those that have not been patched to current standard, which was around 3,800 servers, they have been affected globally. The ransomware encrypts configuration files, CISA, uh, in conjunction with FBI, um, released a recovery script. Script does not delete the affected configuration files, but attempts to create new ones. It's not a guaranteed way to circumvent the ransom demands and doesn't fix the root vulnerability that allows the ESXi Rx attack to function in the first place. But it could be a crucial step to affected companies. The CISA notes that after running the script, organizations should immediately update their servers to the latest version, disable the service location protocol, SLP, that the ESXi Rx attacker used to compromise the virtual machines and cut the ESXi hypervisor off from the public internet before reinstalling the systems. After released that guidance, reports surfaced that the new version of the ransomware was infecting servers and rendering prior recovery methods ineffective. The new version of the ransomware was first reported by Bleeping Computer. One major change is that the ransomware now encrypts a large percentage of the configuration files, making it difficult, if not impossible, for the CASI script to create a clean alternative. In addition, the new wave of ESXi ARCs attacks may work even on systems they don't have SLP enabled. That's it for today. I hope that you learned something new. Leave a like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter.